Welcome back. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at the Safriya Palace the son of the President of Palestine, Yasser Mahmoud Abbas, to greet His Majesty upon his visit to the kingdom, where he conveyed to His Majesty a verbal message from the President of Palestine, Mahmoud Abbas, regarding the close fraternal relations and new developments in Palestine. His Majesty the King reaffirmed Bahrain's firm position in support of the Palestinian cause and all endeavors and efforts aimed at achieving a just, a lasting and comprehensive peace in the region and guaranteeing the right of the brotherly Palestinian people to establish their independent state in according with the two-state solution and international legitimacy resolutions in a way that achieves stability and peace in the region. Yasser Mahmoud Abbas conveyed to His Majesty the King his greetings and appreciation of the Palestinian President and his wishes of further progress and prosperity to Bahrain and its people. His Majesty welcomed the son of the Palestinian President and asked him to convey his greetings to President Abbas and his wishes of lasting health and happiness and security and stability to the Palestinian people. For his part, Yasser Mahmoud Abbas expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty for the warm welcome and generous hospitality and for His Majesty's humanitarian stances in support of the Palestinian people. He also appreciated Bahrain's honorable stances in support of the legitimate national rights of the Palestinian people. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at the Safriya Palace the Apolistic Vicariate in Northern Arabia Bishop Aldo Birardi. His Majesty the King praised Bishop Birardi's good efforts in promoting the values of goodness and tolerance, wishing him continued success. His Majesty recalled the contributions of the late Bishop Camilo Balin and his benevolent endeavors. His Majesty the King expressed his pride in Bahrain's long history of brotherhood and coexistence as it embraces various religions and sects that live as one loving, interconnected family, thanks to the awareness of its people and their adherence to noble humanitarian principles. His Majesty stressed that the efforts of the Kingdom in its pioneering global initiatives aim to consolidate and strengthen the culture of rapprochement, coexistence and interfaith dialogue for the benefit of the people of all humanity. His Majesty the King also recalled the honorable and historic visit of His Holiness Pope Francis of the Vatican to Bahrain and his participation in the East-West for Human Coexistence Dialogue in addition to His Majesty's meeting with His Holiness Pope Francis at His Holiness residence on the occasion of His Majesty's visit to the Vatican City. His Majesty praised the wisdom of His Holiness the Pope and his stances and support all efforts aimed at spreading peace in the region and the world. His Majesty reviewed with Bishop Aldo Birardi issues that contribute to spreading the culture of dialogue and religious tolerance among followers of Abrahamic religions adhering to the approach of moderation and rejecting extremism and fanaticism. For his part, Bishop Aldo Birardi expressed his thanks to His Majesty the King for the appreciation, care and attention enjoyed by all religions in Bahrain, without discrimination and the provision of places of worship for various religions. Praising the Kingdom's efforts and spreading the values of peace and coexistence among different peoples and religions. The first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the General Sports Authority and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa visited the Royal Golf Club where he was briefed on the final preparations to host the DP World International Golf Tour, which will begin today under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Khalid toured the Royal Golf Club's stadiums, facilities, fan stands, events areas, players' rooms, entry and exit areas, VIP platforms and other facilities. He was briefed on the equipment and services provided to host the golf tour guests, including officials, players, media, professionals and fans. His Highness Sheikh Khalid praised the efforts of the organizing committee and partners, emphasizing the importance of providing high-quality services for the event to reflect Bahrain's position as an ideal destination for hosting the largest sporting events.
The Representatives Council held its weekly session presided over by its Speaker Ahmed Lamsellam. The session discussed and approved the report of the Financial and Economic Affairs Committee regarding a proposal to amend some provisions of the Commercial Companies Law and referred it to the government. It discussed and approved proposals on exempting low-income people from taxes and on amending Article 4 of the Financial and Administrative Control Bureau Law and referred them to the government. Deputy Prime Minister and Chairman of the Board of Directors of the Institute of Public Administration, IPA, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, attended the launch ceremony of the joint projects between IPA and the Ministry of Works to provide a professional certificate for engineering and technical personnel working in project management in the public and private sectors. In the presence of ministers, officials, and members of the Board of Directors of the Institute, and representatives of the engineering sector. Sheikh Khalid affirmed that vocational and professional training, which is based on transferring experiences and knowledge between national cadres and the public and private sectors, is an essential pillar of the development process that keeps pace with the goals of the comprehensive development process under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and with the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He noted that the government attaches considerable importance to specialized training. He wished the organizers of the project's success in developing government performance in the field of strategies, resource management, change and development of government services. The deputy premier noted that the project represents a qualitative leap for engineers and technicians in a way that will contribute to producing a new generation of project managers who hold international professional certificates. For his part, the Minister of Works Engineer Ibrahim al Hawaj expressed thanks and appreciation to the Deputy Premier for launching the project and praised the positive effects of cooperating with the Institute to exchange specialized experiences and the best international practices. For her part, IPA Director General Sheikh Rana bint Isa Al Khalifa stressed that the Deputy Premier's launch of the project affirms the government's keenness to unify visions and efforts to empower and develop national cadres and advance their administrative and specialized skills and capabilities. The President of Hungary, Katalin Novak, received the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif Zayani, who is currently on a visit to Budapest to head Bahrain's delegation at the second meeting of the Bahrain-Hungary Joint Economic Commission. The President commended the relations between Bahrain and Hungary and their ongoing developments in various domains. She extended her greetings to His Majesty the King and her wishes of further success and prosperity to Bahrain. She expressed her country's keenness to enhance bilateral cooperation between the two nations in the economic, investment and development domains. For his part, Dr. Zayani conveyed the greetings of His Majesty the King to the President of Hungary and His Majesty's wishes of further success and prosperity to Hungary. He praised the relations and bilateral cooperation between the two countries, emphasizing their common interest in expanding cooperation. Oil Environment Minister and Special Envoy for Climate Affairs Dr. Mohammed bin Mbarak bin Dana chaired the current session of the 37th meeting of the Executive Council of the Regional Organization for the Protection of Marine Environment, ROPME. Dr. bin Dana affirmed Bahrain's commitment to regional and international environmental treaties and programs aimed at safeguarding the marine environment. The meeting discussed topics on its agenda and strategic discussions issued by the organization, including financial and administrative matters, its five-year strategic plan consolidating cooperation and upcoming environmental programs and activities. The minister praised the role of ROPME Executive Secretary Dr. Jasim El Bashara and all members of the Secretariat General in enhancing regional cooperation and protecting the marine environment. The General Directorate of Civil Defense in cooperation with the Information and E-Government Authority joined the National Suggestions and Complaint System at Tawassal to enhance fast and direct interaction with citizens and residents where they can submit their inquiries, comments and suggestions through Bahrain.bh or the Tawassal app. 
the public could contact the General Directorate for matters related to its various directorates, electronic payments, services, awareness and lectures. A concerned team will respond to inquiries, comments and suggestions. Bahrain Women Table Tennis Team won two gold medals and two silver medals and the World Table Tennis WTT Youth Contender Doha 2023. The team recorded a prominent presence in the tournament by winning four medals, continuing Bahrain's successful path in making international achievements in table tennis. Bahraini player Akinda Mahmoud Ismail was able to win the gold medal in the under 11 years old category after defeating the Syrian player Alina Sagar. Bahraini player uh, Amruta Amit won the gold medal in the joint double with Tunisian player Wasi Masid after defeating Syrian player Hind Zaza and Yemeni player Ibrahim Gurban. Bahraini player Maryam Al Ali won the silver medal in the under 19 years old category, while player Kinda Mahmoud Ismail also came in second in the under 13 years old category and won the silver medal. Djibouti President Ismail Omar Ejila conferred the Independence Day Medal at the commander level on the Arab Parliament Speaker Adil bin Abdurrahman al Astoumi. This honor is considered the highest medal granted by Djibouti and came in appreciation of al Astoumi's constructive efforts in strengthening Arab parliamentary relations and advancing joint Arab action mechanisms. President Ejila praised, praised the wise policy of His Majesty the King, stressing that it represents a major pillar for supporting and strengthening joint Arab action. He appreciated the keenness of His Majesty the King for the unity of Arabs and the defense of just Arab causes before all regional and international forums, expressing his confidence in the success of the upcoming Arab summit, which will be hosted by Bahrain.